What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna try to finish this right here golf cart up from my wife for vacation. And when I say that, we're probably gonna still add some more things to it, but I wanna finish it enough so we can go on vacation tomorrow. So um, it runs, it drives, it's got brakes, the wheels, everything's on it. You know, um, here's kind of the, the dilemma that we have right now. I have a stereo dash. We have to mount the mic tuning eight gang switch panel. We have a Carpy Ride motorcycle um, wireless car play that we need to mount somewhere on here. I have a Stinger, or now it's called the Fleet QI um, keypad switch to turn it on and off. I have a USB um, outlet here that tells the voltage also of the lithium battery. We have some uh, marine speakers with LED light. Uh, we're gonna go over those on today's video as well. We gotta install a Bluetooth amp on here. We got a lot of things to do in this episode. And the hardest part for me at all times is where do you mount this stuff at? When it's custom installation, um, it's, it's not meant to go in a certain spot. Just like the carpet ride system is meant to go on a motorcycle and it doesn't have any other types of mounts for any other types of vehicles you know you have to customize the mount well on this dash here we got a dash with a three inch opening because when i ordered it i was thinking well i just order a radio that would go inside the dash and it'd be perfect well i've changed my mind since then so we got all kind of things to decide plan put together on today's video we got some stuff by 10 lol that we're going to put on here a new steering wheel steering wheel adapter a windshield I got to take the roof off of my other golf cart to put on this one. I got a lot of work to do, so we're going to try to cover all of that in today's video. And with that being said, we got to just get started. So this right here is the stereo dash, and I was kind of just like um, putting this right here up, but this will not cover that entire hole there. There's a little bit of hole at the top, a little bit of hole at the bottom. Not really liking that. Thinking of taking this right here and actually mounting it back here because really it's only going to be used when you're getting on the golf cart or getting off the golf cart. So you can turn everything on that you want on or off. Thought about mounting that there. This USB uh, output here, this was included with the Nokens kit. So what I'm thinking of doing is it pretty much fits this hole opening right here. So I thought about mounting it inside of there. You know, just flush it in there. I think that would look pretty good. Mount the carpet ride system on one side and maybe the uh, the Stinger on the other side. All right, there it is. The carpet ride is mounted directly to this piece of plastic here. Mama said she wanted this right here vertical. So it's gonna be vertical. So these speakers are the Hayankas. It's a six and a half inch marine speaker. And I wanted to try them and price point was like 60, 70 bucks, something like that. And I'm on Amazon. I'll place the link in the description below where you can check them out. But these things feel great. They, they don't feel like they're cheaply made. Um, and I've never heard of this name brand before, but I wanted to try them out. So these say they're 500 watts, RMS power, six and a half inch marine, seven color LED light. It has the foam around the mounting surface. Um, another thing I like about these is the tweeter does not um, touch the cone itself. It's two separate pieces. The, uh, the grill doesn't come off. And there's LED lights under there as well. So we're going to try those on this golf cart here. So there's a, looks like an LED connector there. And then you got your speaker terminals on the side of the speakers. Speaker wire. This uh, looks to be a controller here. A little remote control. And some screws, so. These openings here on this dash, they aren't big enough, so we're gonna have to use the Dremel and open them up just a little bit to fit the speakers in there. More cutting, I hate cutting, on, especially on something that's already been painted. So I couldn't wait until we get the speakers installed. I wanted to see what the LEDs would look like. Pretty neat here. Seven different colors. You got uh, white, red, green, 
blue, yellow, like a teal, and a purple, I think. You got a couple of different variants of patterns, flash, rotate, uh, fade in and out, maybe solid. I think this one jumps here back and forth. And then something else. Music beat, music impulse, and sound. So one is gonna be music beat. Number two is gonna be music impulse. Number three is gonna be sound. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do here is start to get these right here into the golf cart and get the dash wired up. And maybe we can play some music here in just a little bit. I think uh, we we'll probably need to still mount the Bluetooth amplifier in there first. All right, I got the amp in. It's uh, mounted right there to the uh, bottom of the tray. And that's the LED controller in the vertical position there. Starting to slide on the dash here, get everything wired up before we button up in place. All right, so I got the dash in, the carpy rods in, everything is in now, speakers wired up, everything. We have the wires coming out the dash down here. I'm about to run all of those, get the floor mat in, and uh, pick you back up once I have everything wired up. Uh, pretty simple so far. Yeah, they call me Mr. Saturday Night. All right, we got the speakers in now and the dash is all the way in. The carpet ride system's in. The dash is complete. Other than the bolts at the bottom, I'm gonna do those in just a minute. I'm about to put the brow on here. Went ahead and got the, I guess you'd call that the kick panel down there. It's in, it's wired up. Both chargers are working. I'm gonna clean up the wires here in just a little bit. Still need to run the eight gain switch panel. Probably gonna place it back here, but we're making some progress. I'm gonna keep going, I'll pick you back up in just a minute. All right guys, so I'm sitting here plugging away at it. Uh, the dash is in, looking good. Got the floor mat in, I got these side rocker panels in, and you know, these things have been painted and the body's been painted a little over a year. These right here were very warped, cattywampus. And um, so, had to do some finagling to get them things right there in. Got the mat in though. Got the kick panel in, it's wired up. Everything works there, so that looks good. What I'm gonna do now is I have some extreme mats for this cart here front and rear. I've never seen anybody install the rear ones, so I'll show you the install on the rear ones. All right, so we ordered a uh, black on black mat. I looked at some online and I thought I'd seen some that were white on black, but it was like gray on black. This right here just slides on top of everything else. Pretty simple. I just think it will make it look a little bit cleaner. That's one reason I went with it. Yep, that looks good there. That's super clean. It covers everything up. Um, let's look at this side here. So, yep, that looks pretty good there. Now, the other day when I was ordering the Extreme mat, they had some back footrest mats as well. It's the first time I've ever seen them. So these right here, you know, uh, Chinese back seat kits. The, uh, you know, this surface here can get slick. And then when it, you know you get on and off of it a couple times, it's just scratched up. I don't like the look of it. So I ordered this right here uh, mat. It has some pre-drilled holes in the mat that you will drill through this footrest here and you got some hardware to install it. And I think this right here will match the front as well. So, all right, that looks better by adding those Christmas trees instead of the included push rivets that it came with. And now that's done. Maybe once it gets in the heat, It'll kind of smooth its way out, lay down since it's been rolled up. 
uh, in a box. These are flip cup holders. They completely bolt on to the golf cart. It has a hinge system. Comes with the tools and everything to install it. Pretty simple installation. Um, one of the things that I like about these cup holders is underneath the bottom here, it's made out of plastic. Okay, so it's not like the old style wood. It's not gonna rot on you. So if they get dirty, you just spray them right off. I like that about them. On these cup holders, when I install them, I'm gonna install them like this right here with the armrest facing inside here, just so it'll be more sleek down the side of the golf cart. And then when you go to up your back seat, you just flip them out the way and you know, down your back seat or whatever, but pretty simple. Thought I'd show you these right here as well. There it is guys, fully installed. You need to lift the seat up. Just, you know, pull the cup over over, it's pretty nice. Uh, support for your arm. Like I said, plastic underneath, so to get dirty, just spray them off, but looks pretty good. It matches other seat covers from Nokens as well. Here's a little update for you. Got a roof on. We didn't get the cup holders on. I was I did that for a different video, but they're on now. Um, what else I've done? I've cleaned the golf cart, got the roof mounted. We're gonna do a steering wheel next and a windshield from 10 LOL. Some of their new windshields, I did one not too long ago, and one of their new windshields has like a crease, or not a crease, but a, a fold in the middle. It doesn't have the old style hinge. And I think these are stronger than the other ones. The hinges are on the outside of the windows. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this right here installed and I'll show you exactly what it looks like once it's installed. Just took the window out of the uh, box. See what I mean? It comes in two pieces. That's the lower section there. See how it's bent? It's got uh, two 90 degree bends in it. This is the upper section and it has like a, well, about an 80 degree bend or a 90 degree bend in it as well but uh, they got away from doing the hinge in the middle and now start doing the hinge on the outsides. And I believe this right here is gonna add some, um, some strength to it, especially when you're like in tow or the golf cart's on the trailer or whatever. But uh, a lot of times the windshield would really flex in the middle. This right here uh, should allow it not to flex anymore. All right guys, this is the windshield here. I think it looks pretty good. The hinges is on the outside here. And this outside hinge actually attaches to the upright of the golf cart. Pretty simple. That's the side here. See here in the middle, I was telling you that the windshields now, they uh, fold in. I believe that's to add structure to the frame of the windshield itself. It looks pretty good. That's a 10 LOL windshield. This is the steering wheel. I think it looks pretty good on here as well. Looks good, mounted very easily. And I know it's kind of hard to see we're inside. We will be outside this week. I'll show you uh, the steering wheel maybe again, but let's get the red stitching inside, which is just enough to be noticeable. So here's the golf cart. I went ahead and removed the extended roof off of it to put on my wife's cart. I just put this roof on here. I'm thinking this right here probably needs to be painted black, so I might rattle can this one right here for too long. And I don't know, been thinking about selling this golf cart here. Uh, just put some standard lead acids in it or or something like that and get rid of it and probably keep the Navitas for a different cart in the future. It's been fun, but I'm ready to change it up some. Uh, not sure if this is the last time you're gonna see this golf cart or not. Uh, we still need to make a battery review or a distance test, a range test on the Vatra battery. We're probably gonna do that in an upcoming episode. But I wanna show you this right here, golf cart, and what it looks like now since we removed the roof off of there. All right, so this right here is the finished process of the golf cart. Well, I say finished. It's finished for right now. Uh, we already went to our vacation, and that was actually a couple of weeks ago. I was just late on uploading some of these videos. Golf cart's done though. The paintwork looks amazing especially when all this right here was textured to begin with. And um, I think everything came out looking good. See there, the lights, brake lights are on. They look good as well. On these brake lights and headlight, taillight kit here, they have a timer feature and I need to install it. I just found it, it fell out the box when I originally made that last video. So I need to put that on there. 
back seat looks good. The roof looks good, you know, from the other golf cart. The speakers sound amazing for what they are. Here's the problem. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I need to adjust the toe on this right here golf cart. And I also need to put some king pin alignment camber uh, pins in there because the golf cart has negative camber in the front and it's starting to wear out the inside of the tire. You can see here, there's no nipples here. There's nipples here. So I need to do that. I haven't driven it. We only taken it to the beach that one week. And while we was at the beach, well, look what happened. Not sure if somebody got up the side of us or that happened when we were backing it out of you know the uh, underneath the house at the uh, the beach or whatever that's the finished project like i said speakers look good they sound good sound amazing actually uh, i need to go in there and add a volume control to the amplifier because with this carpy ride set up here the volume control is actually all digital and touchscreen i don't like that so i'm gonna put a volume knob on there that'll probably be done in an upcoming video this is what the inside looks like still the same still need to mount the uh the eight gang panel there probably still going to mount it back there probably i need to work on the brakes it's nothing they are working they're just not working great but yeah that's an update tell you guys thanks for watching because i know a lot of y'all was watching and wondering when i was going to get this right here done anyways i still do not have that cover back there but i'm thinking of doing something different for that but so we'll see if we can make something with that or not so but yep she's done other than that i can't wait to get the alignment done get the camber taken care of and fixed because i'm ready to ride this thing and you know and, and have it steering like it's supposed to just with the tires with the negative camber and the alignment is out it just does not steer like it's supposed to. So some upcoming videos, guys. So it's always something. Appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, we'll see y'all later.